Wait the day for uh, December 28th. Still no snow as you can see. Yeah, so just heading to the cabin for a couple hours. Drove down in the truck today so far. Because I come from a different community now that now that I moved into another house. So I can't leave my, well, I guess I can leave my backyard. But I have to cross a couple roads and stuff to get to the, to the old track bed. So I just uh, keep my quad in my truck usually. And uh, I'll just unload her like this when I go to go to the cabin. Most times, I'd say. But anyway, I got a new camera for Christmas. The wife got me a new uh, GoPro 9, Hero 9. Uh, pretty big uh, upgrade from the old uh, Hero 3 white, I think I had. And uh, anyway, just gonna head to the cabin, cook some food, and I might take uh, might take a little shot down to the shore. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna scope out some places for uh, duck hunting uh, for seabirds and stuff so maybe I'll get around to making a little blind or something down there and uh, once I get laid off I'll I'll, uh, I'll get at some duck hunting too haven't done it in a few years and I've been missing it so we'll see what happens beautiful day beautiful day Amazing weather for uh, December. It's unbelievable, actually. But uh, no, uh, no snow yet. Well, of course, we've had a little bit of snow here and there, but it's always uh, melted again. But uh, no snow now, as you can see. Not a bit. I think I'll get the flag up today. Just like I left it. It's the way I like it. Oh, Canada. Get this one flying for the World Juniors. Ain't that a beautiful sight? Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, oh, Canada. So, today I got some hash. Not hashish. Some hash, Newfoundland hash, which is just leftover. Uh, Pretty much all the veggies and stuff left over from turkey dinner or jigs dinner or whatever. I got onions and uh, salt pork fat. I'm gonna fry all that vegetables in that. I got a little bit of salt meat left. So I'm gonna try and record as much as I can with the GoPro today because I really want to test it out and I want to see what the what the audio and stuff is like and. Uh, what I used to use for my uh, video editing is, is Lightworks. It's just, uh, I used to just use the free, free Lightworks. So I could only export in 720. I could only export in 720, not 1080 or anything else. 
So uh, they just had a deal on where you upgrade to the Pro and then you can export in uh, 1080, but you have to pay for it. So I purchased one month and you get uh, two months free. So I got three months for the price of one just to try it out. So now I'm going to be able to export in 1080, which means upload to YouTube in, in 1080. And this camera is good for uh, 5K, I believe, but my computer won't be able to handle that anyway. But just let me know what you guys think of the quality and the sound quality, stuff like that. Let me know in the comments. You know, uh, it's much easier to carry around the GoPro on the clamp when I'm in the woods and stuff than it is the DSLR, the mic, the tripod, all this stuff. This is going to be much easier and uh, much more convenient when I'm, when I'm quadding and hiking and things like that to just have this, take it out, clamp it on a tree or whatever and record instead of getting out everything, setting it up. It's just a pain, it's a pain. And I, I mean, if you only have so many hours to spend in the woods or whatever, you don't wanna be wasting your time with that stuff. It's nice, like what I'm trying to say is I'm hoping to get more footage now that I have this camera because it's just more, more convenient to record, you know? So hopefully uh, this little test today is gonna to be good and I'll pretty much just, uh, and I'll take this camera on the on the bush journeys, we'll say. So anyway, I'm gonna get some coffee. Let the wood stove warm up. She's roaring there now. Not gonna need it going much to warm up this cabin today with all the sun. But uh, hopefully, cook on the wood stove today and not the propane. But if it's if it's too hot in here, I'll uh, let the wood stove die down and I'll. I'll uh, warm up my lunch on the on the uh, propane. Got my onions and pork all browned up. Throw all my veggies in now. Carrots, cabbage, potato. And turn up. Good mix up. Get her all mashed up. That's going to be pretty good. She's steaming. I'd say she's good enough now. Time to eat. I'm a big uh, pepper guy. I have pepper on everything. Delicious. So just packing up my stuff here. Going to let the stove go out. It's just about out there now. <clears throat> and uh, we'll head down the quad trail to the shore. Still probably an hour before dark. Probably see behind me the sun is uh, setting very shortly. So... I'm going to look for a place to do some seabird duck hunting from the from the shore. But uh, it's got to be a place where I can retrieve ducks. You know, there's lots of cliffs down there, very high cliffs. Pointless to be shooting at ducks and stuff around that area. I got to take my flag down.
So obviously this is the area I want to do some duck hunting down here. This quad trail runs down there. But I'd have to park my quad back here in the bush and walk down there, right? Let's take a shot now and we'll check it out. So this is a pretty good spot, but a little bit difficult to, to get at a duck, you know, if you were to kill a duck. Already seen a few ducks over here, a little ways off, but I'm sure they went off offshore because they uh, see me, seen me coming there on quad. Bit of a rough sea here too. Probably retrieve a duck here, but might be difficult. That's the bridge there for the walking trail. There's a walking trail along this shore and a waterfall. Beautiful area. I actually camped here for a night one time. Right here. I think the title of the video is uh, Coastal Overnight or something like that. If you want to go back and check it out. A few years ago. I don't know if you guys can pick up the moon on the GoPro. What a day. I came from that way up over the hill and to the left. Follow this ridge, this big ridge here. You follow this all the way down east right to my cabin. So the brook that's in front of my cabin with the beaver, the beaver uh, lodge and beaver dam. This is it right here. This is what it looks like when it gets to the ocean. Drops off right here. Yeah, so I guess that's it for the video. Thanks a lot for coming along. This will be the last video for 2020. I'm back to work tomorrow. So hopefully everyone had a great Christmas break. And uh, stay safe. New Year's, New Year's Eve and stuff. You know, no drinking and driving. And uh, thanks for all the support in 2020. And we'll see you guys next year. Take care, guys. GoPro. Stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.